We probably all have that grumpy old relative that reminds us of Archie Bunker. Stuck in their ways, always talking about the good old days, and resistance to changing their mind or their actions. But that's not us. We're not gonna settle for the best years being behind us. We're about thriving in the present and looking forward to the future. Since so many of you tuned in to my video on 10 things I quit after 50, I thought I'd do a follow-up video on 10 things I won't quit so I can keep getting better with age. If you're new here, my name is Jenny Waters, and I am on a mission to help other midlife women just like you not accept that aging means everything goes downhill from here. Let's get started. Number 10 on my list of things I will not quit as I age. I will not quit changing. I think we have got to embrace that change is gonna happen and also be open to feedback of areas where you need to change. If you haven't changed your mind on something in 10, 20 years, maybe you are stuck in your ways. It's time to give permission to our close circle of friends to give us that feedback. My husband and I have a deal with each other. Sometimes you don't even recognize the things you're saying, the beliefs that you've had in the past about yourself of things you can and can't do. We say, if you say so, if you say you can't change, okay. And when you hear that, it's like, dang it. Yes, I can change that. That's not set in stone, but I've got to stop saying that I'm lazy. I've got to say that I can't do this. Your words have power. Having someone give you that feedback gives you the opportunity to recognize those limiting beliefs and change it. So if you're not wanting to end up like Archie Bunker, stuck in your ways, you can't quit embracing change and you can't quit being open to feedback from those you love. Number nine on my list, and I think you'll all agree on this one, is to continue to be curious. Curious to learn new things, curious to experience new things. I think when we stop being curious, we get stuck. Remember the movie Dead Poet Society with Robin Williams? They were carpe diem, seize the day. When I was a church youth director and I was hanging out with teenagers, I did this for 10 years, we do all sorts of things. Way out of my comfort zone, but since I was the leader, I had to do it. And I constantly heard the kids say, well, my mom would never do that. And I thought, why? We don't need to stay stuck in our own little comfort zone just knowing what we know, just experiencing what we've always experienced. Get curious. What sounds new and exciting to learn about? I always wanna be hungry for what comes next. What can I learn that can enhance my life? What can I experience that makes life that much better? So I, want, I challenge you to seize the day and find out what lights you up. Now, before we go too much further, my list does not have to be your list. This is just to get you thinking about things that you really wanna stick to so that you age better. Once you watch the video, tell me what you would add. Number eight, I kind of touched on this on my other video, but I like to focus in on my own circle of influence, the things that I have an impact on. And when you focus on that, instead of thinking I'm helpless to all these world issues, it gets your circle of influence to expand. I first learned about this from Stephen Covey's Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, and I just really have noticed it's true. Who can I help? Who is within my circle of influence? How can I volunteer? How can I make people's lives better? God calls us to be the light in other people's lives, and I want me to be a reflection of that. So I'm always looking for ways to make the world a better place, to influence things in a positive way. Because if we all did that, just think of how much better the world would be. Number seven, I talk a lot about this on my channel. I intend to never quit moving and strengthening my body. I wanna age stronger. I'm not giving in to that stereotypical frail older woman if I can help it. It might look different 10, 20 years down the road, but I'm gonna continue to do what I can. Several years back, my daughter Taylor called me out. This is that being open to feedback when I wouldn't get down on the floor. I was like, I'm too old for that. She's like, the day you say that is the day you stop being able to do it. So I want you 
If it's been a while since you've exercised, slowly get back into it. But you need to train for your old lady body, not just exercise to get skinny. There's a lady at our gym who's over 80, Miss Edie, we all love her. She is such an inspiration, but she is there every day. Yeah, she might be rubbing some Bengay on her neck, but she knows that it is so important to fight for that strength. She is not in that nursing home like a lot of her friends because she's in the gym. And that's where I plan to be in some form or fashion for as long as I can. Number six, I plan to never quit eating to fuel my body. A lot of us tend to get in the habit, oh, I'm getting older anyways, I'm just gonna eat whatever I feel like. Eating to entertain myself. I want to eat to fuel my body. I'm a firm believer food can be the best medicine or the worst poison. So when you're planning what you're gonna eat, planning your plate, look at the food options. Is this food helping my health or hurting it? You don't have to be perfect, but be honest with yourself. You know those healthier foods instead of the processed junk foods that are causing inflammation. Your body talks to you in ways, signs and symptoms, bloating, acne, allergies, joint pain. All of this is your body's way of telling you whether the food you're giving it is helping or hurting. So I plan to continue to listen to my body and I've quit listening to the diet gurus that have some new plan to sell me it seems like every new month. The thing I will not quit is loving myself. It took me a long time to get here. That mean girl voice in my head was always saying, you're not good enough. This needs to change. But after I turned 50, I was like, you know what? I really like who I am and like who I'm becoming. And I'm not going back. I'm not letting that mean girl voice in my head win. I'm like proud of who I've become and what I've gone through to get here. So I continue to love myself and keep getting better with age. So number four, I think our community is so important. So I will not quit nurturing those relationships. I nurture my relationship with my husband. We've been married 31 years and it takes work, but it's so worth it. And I nurture the relationship with my adult daughters and their significant others. They want that relationship to continue to get better. And then I have those close circle of friends. I'm one of those that has just a few close friends. Maybe you're one of those, or maybe you're one that has a big circle of friends. Whatever it may be, nurture these relationships. Now I get in this midlife season, friendships kind of are in a transition mode. We used to be friends with the parents of our kids' friends, and maybe we don't see them as often. And we're evolving and changing, and some, some of our friendships just aren't working for us anymore. Be open to finding those new friends because it is so important to have that community around you. Life wasn't meant to be done alone. So whether you need just a few good friends or a big circle, you can find them at the gym, you can find them at church. I started a midlife moms group at church just so I could get more women that are in that same season of life. Put yourself out there because I promise you when you are intentionally being a good friend, you're gonna find your circle. The number three thing, I will not quit. No matter what happens in my life, I'm gonna fight to keep this I will continue to look for the good. I first saw this on Oprah, a gratitude journal where you write few things down each day that you're grateful for. And when I've been in a grumpy stage where I feel like life is against me, or when my daughters were going through their teenage grumpiness, I had them do this. You can't be grat grateful and grumpy at the same time. Archie Bunker was not grateful for what he had. So I continue to look for things to be grateful for. When you're looking for those things to be grateful for, you find more good in the world. And so I know it's easy to get grumpy and feel like life is against you sometimes as we get older, but I want to challenge you to continue to look for the good. There's always blessings out there if you focus on that instead of the things that you want to complain about. Number two on my list of things I will not quit is I will not quit finding fun. 
finding things to look forward to. I think when we get into this midlife season, it's really easy to slip into that rut of that routine where every day kind of feels like Groundhog Day where we're just doing the same thing over and over again. At the end of the day, we're just flipping with the remote, watching Netflix, and so there's just not anything to look forward to. But you do not have to have a big trip on the, on the calendar or some big event. You can plan fun what each day, each week, and I think that's what makes life exciting. I want you to wake up excited for something in the day, next day or two that you look forward to. What sounds fun? You need to keep asking yourself that because life isn't meant to be just this Groundhog Day boring routine. Now, I love habits and routines, but I think scheduling fun needs to be in that mix. And the number one thing I will not quit as I age is strengthening my faith. I read my Bible and pray each morning and spend that intentional time deepening my relationship with God. I think this is so important to help me continue to have a heart for service, to have hope for the future, and it helps me to continue on that path to bettering myself so that at the end of my life I get to hear, well done, good and faithful servant. I read in Don Barton's book, Midlife Battle Cry. God does not stop handing out blessings just because you hit midlife. I encourage you to explore your faith. Be open to what God has in store for you. I hope as you age, you continue to evolve and become the person you were created to be. Because I promise you, God thinks you're worth it. Those are the things I will never quit because they keep me growing, evolving, and living my best life. No Archie Bunker here. Let me know in the comments what you would add and which ones resonate with you. And if you haven't seen it yet, you want to watch this video here where I give you 10 things I quit to thrive in midlife and beyond. Thanks for watching.